Thank you. Bow to head instructor and uh, beginner, intermediate level students. Welcome. Hey guys, and for you at home, let you know we have a couple. This is our official graduation in class, a COVID graduation. And the first class, the first day class at the new location. Yes, of course, the walls will change. You get to see it happen live here. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's do it. If you're getting, if you're going up on rank today, go ahead and take your sash off. And we'll go with Robert Payne up front. Robert Payne to the rank of Green Sash in Tai Chi. Step up onto a black square. You're now all on camera, just so you know. Yep. No escaping the camera. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Nakong Unit. So it's been a several rotations since we've done Nakong. So uh, I don't know about you, but I can speak for me personally. It takes me a couple classes to get my body back in the Nakong swing. So don't feel compelled to be a hero. You know, just listen to your body. It's okay if you don't go as big or as high, I mean, as, as, as low as you're, as you're used to. Uh, let's just think about quality over, you know, to begin with. So, um, refresher for people at home, you should never have any joint pain with NACOM. So, if you have any ankle, knee, hip, back, shoulder pain during NACOM, message us so that we can hopefully give you some tips. It's usually an alignment issue that we can, that we can help out with. We may not get to all 10 today since we had our little graduation, but we'll get through as many as we can. All right. But let's do our little meditation for just a couple minutes. First, a couple minutes or two. Place your hands on the lower abdomen, feet comfortable distance apart. Lips lightly sealed, teeth gently meshed together, eyes closed.
go ahead and lower the hands, open the eyes, and let's begin Nay Kung. So first, foundational posture. You all know it well, embracing horse. So just as a refresher for how it works, shoulder width apart with the feet, toes turned in slightly, so the outside edges of the feet are parallel. Uh, round those knees out, but don't round them out so much that the feet roll up off the floor. You want to maintain contact with the ball of the feet as well as the outside edges. Bend those knees, sink down, get your tuck. Circle the arms back, circle the arms forward. the arms up because we're in the middle of our sequence so we'll do that at the very end switches it up a little bit uh, posture number two ride the wild horse start in the middle stance but again outside edges of the feet parallel and you're still going to get that tuck rounded out feeling in the knees and you're going to inhale Exhale as you tip forward, keep that tuck, lower the arm, I mean the, the legs, only go down as far as you can without the feet moving or adjusting. Finish your exhale, push with the legs to inhale. And exhale. Again, inhale. That one, Master Gordon, and then Mr. Courtney donated a brand new one that should be there somewhere. Inhale, push up. Exhale. Narrow stance, so bring your feet a little bit closer together. If you're able, your toes can, can touch. If that's not comfortable, it's okay if they're a little bit apart. But again, thank you, sir. Outside edge of the feet. Parallel. Knees out. Same thing. Inhale. Lift. Keep those shoulders neutral. And exhale. Reach forward. When you feel like you're going to tip, sink with the legs. Inhale. Push with the legs. Up. 
and exhale. Again, inhale. we just did on continuous forward breathing had an impact on Ride the Wild Horse. <laughs> Maybe you didn't have enough breath before, but you might now. Just, just a guess. <laughs> One more of a wide stance, which just goes back to shoulder width. And inhale. Posture number three, playing guitar. So let's start. Let's uh, go left foot. Left foot at a wide angle. I'm going to mirror you guys. So left foot, shift the weight into the left foot. Circle the arms back and around. Set the right heel down. Last training, we're going to go through each posture a day to do a correction, a deep dive. So uh, you can always tune in to those if you'd like more information. But I will give tips and important points. So the most leg-wise, I'm really focusing on weight here and rounding that knee out. Don't let that knee collapse in. And release. Good work. Other side. Right leg out, wide angle, 60 degrees. Shift the weight, keep that knee out. Don't let it collapse in. Circle the arms back and around. Set the left foot forward. students, but it's also a preparation. You think, you hear the, the, the buzz about the 20 to 25 minute embracing horse for your black horse. <coughs> and that's what everybody gets super anxious about. But after that, there's that four to six minute playing guitar on each leg. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell people, it's like, yeah, embracing horse is a thing, but playing guitar is another thing. So <laughs> just... <laughs> Keep that in mind as you do your own practice. So number four, posture number four is the compass. You can go a little wider than shoulder width if you'd like here, but um, not too much wider. And then you're going to begin by lifting up through the chest, but I'm keeping my shoulders down. Like don't shrug towards your ears. And then let's begin. Let's go to the left. This one, try not to twist or lean. Like imagine there's two walls between you and you're leaning between them. And then two, down, rounding out over the left foot, palms <coughs> twist the ground, fingers facing towards each other. Keep that tuck here. It's very easy to lose it. And 
the, the downward portion of compass. Three, reach forward, shift away to the heels. Shoulder width apart. Put the left toes out at about a 45 degree angle. Step forward into a walking lunge. Push. And then fold down for that stretch. Get a push out on the, the back leg and pull forward down with the front, keeping that top. Right toes out, 45 degrees, step forward, walking lunge, and look forward for a stretch. Pressing out on this knee, holding yourself forward, and stretch. Try and keep this back flat. Exhale. 
and release. Number six, anybody remember what it is? Rhinoceros gazes at the moon. Are you laughing at me for pop quiz? No, this is my favorite one. It is your favorite? <laughs> All right, rhinoceros gazes at the moon, feet shoulder width apart. And you're gonna circle the arms back and around like embracing a horse, but you're gonna have your left hand on top first. And lean forward, reach, turn from the waist, keeping the hips and knees forward, twist, let your neck relax, gaze out beneath the fingertips. And center. Other side, turn, center, other side. the tiger then we hit the tiger we're gonna ride the tiger this is definitely one if you have not been doing it for a while like myself uh, pay attention to your body it's better to get the form and the structure correct more than it is to get as low to the ground as possible uh, I have kind of a hip thing going on so we're gonna see if this is gonna help my hip or make my hip worse I'm not totally sure which yet so work in progress so you're gonna start the left and crouch down get your tuck if you lose your tuck as you step out you will never get it back so think keep your tuck more than anything else hands on the hips crouch feeling and slowly start to unch yourself out when you get to the bottom again round out with your knees think shoulders towards the front. Good work. Shake it. Yeah. 
feeling it? Huh? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I can feel it biting a little bit, but I think this is going to help it. All right. You know, multiple surgeries on one knee changes the gait, does stuff to the hip, so it's sadly all connected. All right. Uh, Phoenix. Phoenix spreads wings. So feet closer together. Imagine that you basically have like a third of your foot between the two of them. So like here and then like here. Yep. Sink the knees, get your crouch. And the movement starts from the lower body. And tuck the legs a little bit. Let the arms come up, back, and around. Up, back. Tigers, we rode it, we're going to hit it. All right, so start the feet together, turn the left toe out. I just usually kind of get on the side of the mat. You don't have to. This just helps me measure my stepping a little bit. This is a Durbin trick, not yours. You don't have to do it. And again, sink down, get your tuck. You're going to step out. I'm going to say this all kind of at once because it's supposed to be one, one movement. You're going to Step out, you're going to circle your left, I mean your right hand in front of your chest, left hand by the temple. You're going to push off, step mostly sideways, a little bit forward. You're going to shift, sink, and rotate. And that all kind of happens in one movement. But this is day one, so we have lots of time to practice it. All right. And step, sink, turn. And push up. Yep, and uh, everyone did it here, but as a reminder at home, only step out, step out as far as you can to push off in one. It's not like Ride the Tiger where you incrementally scooch yourself out and back. This is one out and one back. And again. too much, so I'm self-correcting my own foster in my thumbnail. All right. Other side, get your crouch, step out, shift, and turn. And push off. Last one. And push up. Howell turns head. Your legs almost get a break, but not yet. Shoulder width apart. Bend those legs. Get your tuck. Hands on the hips. Lift head suspended. And grow 
rotate, keeping your chin tucked slowly to the left. When you get as far as you can, you can look a little farther with your eyes. Other side, slowly rotate. To the right. release, straighten the legs, lower the hands, circle the arms up, slowly inhale, and press the palms down to exhale. Good job. Make home day one in the books. We follow the five hearts, faith, respect, perseverance, patience, and humility. Bond hand instructor. Bound to intermediate level students and students at home. Basic training is dismissed. Good job, everybody. Amazing.